Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish, and today I'm going to be showing you guys five mods that should be in Minecraft. Now, I've carefully selected these five mods today based on a couple of factors. They must not be over the top. I feel like if it adds in too much content, it doesn't really fit into Minecraft. It must be simple in that it only adds in one or two features, and again, those features can't be over the top. And also must be easy to use because I feel like everything in Minecraft is easy. These mods should be easy. Now I should mention that this list is in no specific order, but let's go ahead, let's get into these mods now. So the first mod we are checking out is a mod called Hopper Ducks, and this solves the problem of item elevators and also allows you to filter items out of inventories easily as well. So this adds in two new items, one called a Hopper Duct and another one called a Grated Hopper. Now I'm just going to grab these two items as well. Now a common problem I face in redstone a lot is trying to move an inventory from a lower section up to a higher one. So for instance we got a chest down here, chest above, I want to get the items from this chest to that top one. So I'm going to show you guys right now how we can move items from this chest to the top one. So we simply get our hopper ducts here and create a pipe coming down from the top here and then we need to create it We'll bring it down to the block below the chest here because it still kind of respects the laws of Minecraft where we can only suck items downwards. So we have to place a hopper underneath and we're going to point it into this hopper duct here. Then what I'm going to do is chuck some items into this chest and you'll notice that it's getting sucked out and now it's actually being taken up this pipe into this top chest. And just how easy is that? And that's why I really like this mod because it really just simplifies and it's not over the top either. It doesn't have any sort of special properties. It's simply just kind of a pipe which transports items. And now I'll show you the graded hopper. So this allows you to filter out any items. So we're gonna create a pipe coming up from there. And let's create a graded hopper going into that pipe. Now, pretty much we're gonna put a chest on top here. Now we need to actually catch any excess items still. Um, this hopper doesn't actually just suck the items it matches. It kind of sucks all items and then it only pushes out items that match. So if it matches, it will get pushed into here. Otherwise, it will stay in the hopper. So we kind of got to create a little excess chest here underneath. So we go into the graded hopper here. Now I want to only filter out cheese and crackers. So we simply just, so we simply put the item into the filter slots here. Then if we actually get those cheese, those cookies out. So if I chuck them all into there, You'll see that they'll all start getting sucked out. However, only the items that match here will get pushed into this pipe here and the excess will go into this chest down below. And here's just another example of what you can actually do with a pipe. So it can go in any direction. So we've just created this kind of weird shape here. We can pop items into there. Um, this is a filtered hopper. Um, so that might, okay, so we have to put it in there. And let's accept stone to actually get pushed through. So let's put that there. And then that will get taken into the chest. How easy is that? So this mod is so simple and I feel like it's something that if Mojang was to add in pipes, it would be exactly like this. And that's why I've put it on this list today. So the second mod we are taking a look at is a mod called Wolf Armor. And I really think this one works so well. And I'll show you guys right now why. So. You guys know how you can tame wolves, so let's go into this chest here, let's just grab out this bone and let's tame all these wolves here. So let's go right click, oh we tamed that instantly, I think it's because we're in creative mode. Oh no it's not, that was just luck. So we've tamed all these wolves here and that's pretty much it. I mean you can change around their collar colour in Minecraft which is, which I really like, I think that's a good, good touch. However, this mod allows you to actually put armor on your wolves as well because they usually, when you hit mobs in Minecraft, they will go after them and attack them, but they don't really have any sort of defense. So this mod adds in armor and it does it exactly like Minecraft would and I'll show you in a second here. So let's grab out these five different types of armors and I just like to point out like how similar these are to the horse armor. Like just have a look at this. The graphics are very, very similar. So what you can do now is actually, I think it's shift right click, it will bring up the wolf's inventory where it has a slot here to actually give it some armor. So we can put on the leather, we can put on the diamond, let's put some armor on all of these guys. 
and it just fits so well. Just have a look at this. It just fits so amazingly, and it looks like it is supposed to be in Minecraft, and I really wish this was a feature. I'm not gonna lie. Now, that's not it. There's one more thing we can do. You can also put a chest on these guys. Have a look at that. So you can put a chest on them and actually store items in them as well, and you get a nice uh, sli six slot inventory. Um, it'll also tell you their hearts as well, which is really useful, and also the armor points. So it pretty much gives you that ability of being able to put a chest on a donkey, but we can now put it on our wolves instead. But this mod just fits so well, and it's easy and simple to use, and that's why I think it should be in Minecraft. Now the next mod in this list that should be in Minecraft is... Let's take a look at this chest here. Oh god. No. No. No, no, no. Oh, we deal with that. That should never be in Minecraft. Oh god. Now if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any of my latest videos. But let's go ahead, let's get back into this now. Now the third mod we are looking at is a mod called Storage Boats and this is just an extension of boats in Minecraft which allows you to put chests on them. So here's a couple of the boats that we've got. So we've got an oak storage boat, a spruce storage boat, a birch one and then you can also get boats which has an ender chest on them as well. So I've built a little kind of track here. Uh, let's pop this boat down and as you can see it's got a little chest at the back here which um, you can if you I think it's shift and right click you can actually access it and you can also hop in here and then you can uh, kind of row the boat as you normally would in Minecraft and I think that's just an awesome extension especially if you're like um, wanting to potentially travel across the ocean and create a new base this might be an awesome way to actually store all your items in you can put them in shulker boxes then put them into here, then travel across across an ocean. Now let's take a look at the ender one here as well. So this gives you an ender chest, and we've got an ac acacia boat. It's all nice and red, which I really like, or orange, whatever color. But it's just really cool, and I think it's like the perfect extensions to boats, because right now, you can only get two passengers. Why not have a chest in there as well? So, and again, it is really simple, and I think it's the perfect extension to boats. And I think Johnny here agrees, don't you? It should be in Minecraft. It should be in Minecraft. Now the fourth mod we are taking a look at today is the Tool Belt mod and this essentially allows you to organize all your tools a lot easier. So usually you would have all your tools across your hotbar, however this pretty much just puts it into one slot which is really nice. So let's go into this chest here and let's grab out the Tool Belt. So by default it comes with two slots but it can actually be upgraded to nine so we just need to add seven of these belt pouches here. So what we're going to do is actually upgrade that. So pop the tool belt in there and then we can just go back and forth like this, upgrading it. Now your belt is automatically equipped if it's in your inventory, however I feel like if it is added into Minecraft, I feel like if you're going to equip it, put it into the legging slot, but this is just how this mod works. So if we actually press R, now I've changed around my key binding here, you'll see that it says empty on the screen and that's because we got no tools in our belt. But let's grab out these tools here, I'm just going to get out these seeds as well. But if we press it now, and well, if we hover over one of our tools here, we can actually insert it. So let's put all these in. So now we have all our five tools in our belt. So if we just hover over any slot here in our inventory, open up our tool belt, we can pull out any of these tools. And you'll notice in the inventory as well, the tools aren't there. But let's pull out our diamond pickaxe here and let's go mining. So let's go into game mode S here. And let's mine these diamonds. Let's get these. We need more diamonds. Diamonds are good for me. Oh, I might do some farming now. Let's bring up the inventory. Let's swap this around. It swaps the item with uh, the one you select in the tool belt. We can do some farming here. But to wrap this up, I think it's a great way to organize all your tools really easily. And I definitely think it should be in Minecraft. 
And finally, the last mod we are taking a look at today is more of a suggestion, and that is to add in more decorative blocks into Minecraft. Now, this isn't a plug for my furniture mod. I feel just something as simple as chairs and tables should be in Minecraft, and it was actually something that Notch originally was planning to add, but he never got around to doing it. So this is why I'm suggesting it, because it's something that everybody, I think you guys, would agree with me right now. That should be that should be added in just something simple as chairs and tables to decorate your house because they just make it feel so much more alive like just look at this so we got a chair here which you can actually sit on um, there's a table here which can be extended which I really like um, this isn't actually my mod this is a different mod which again as I mentioned already they're already in the description below uh, we do have a plate for my furniture mod however I don't think a plate should be in there is a barrel here which is pretty cool so it's just a simple inventory um, solution just different maybe you don't want to use a chest and then in here we've just got a couple of other things um, these are crates which allow you to um, store items in them and also transport them inside of it which is really cool uh, this could be some sort of like I don't know water holder I don't know then there's just over here a little pot again another yeah, inventory solution so these are just kind of some ideas um, I, I mean there could be some others um, but you, you get my point we need some decorative we need some decorative blocks in Minecraft and it's lacking I feel like it's really lacking but I think you guys get the point we need some more decorative items in Minecraft to decorate our houses with and that's why I think a sort of furniture mod not specifically mine should be in Minecraft but that is going to end off this video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which one of these mods you think should be in Minecraft. Or maybe you want all of them in. Let me know in the comments below. But I will see you guys later. Bye.